Hey guys, and here we are back with another component for this uh, computer build 2018. And right now I'm going to share with you a little bit of feedback, if it's even possible, about RAM. But that being said, let's go for it. And we are back. So guys, the RAM that I've chosen, as I mentioned on previous videos, was the G-Skill uh, Trident Z 32 gigabytes of it and I will share in just a few moments how I use my RAM but starting as always with a very quick unboxing experience guys there's not much that I can share with you uh, nonetheless there will be a few seconds of images right over there now one thing that I would like to mention as well is that in terms of RAM is not so much how it looks but more on how it performs and how stable it is but if we can get a stable with high performance RAM and at the same time with some RGB uh, lightning, then great. And that was uh, what I was shooting for on this build. So there you go, some images so that you guys can have a better look. Now in terms of RGB, I did mention in the uh, previous videos that there are some components that have the Aura Sync, which is a feature that it's in the motherboard that I've chosen from Asus. And in this particular case, G-Skill uh, RAM sticks have this feature which will allow us to change the colors and guys if you go to the uh, video that i shared about the motherboard there will be a lot more details but nonetheless while i was talking hopefully you got the chance to see uh, some images so that you can have a better idea now at the end of it it looks just awesome in my opinion of course there are those of you that don't like rgb and if you are one of those then just forget about this kinds of RAM. Now going to the point and talking about the amount of RAM that I got which were 32 gigabytes of it which is in my opinion balanced and for my type of work is more than enough. Now I've been using 32 gigabytes uh, since 2012, 2013 more or less and I work especially with After Effects for motion graphics design and that's the only piece of software that uh, allows me to use the full 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now truth be told that if I uh, purchased 64 gigs I would um, take advantage of it but guys uh, as you can see on screen 32 gigabytes for me and for the kind of project that I develop and for the kind of project that I work it's more than enough I can do uh, pretty much a full preview with the RAM that I have 32 gigs and without any issues now if you are wondering what kind of amount uh, you should purchase at this moment, it's really up to you and depending on what you do. If you are going to use a computer just for gaming and browsing and uh, things like that, then 8 gigs to 16, which will be a stretch, is more than enough. If you are planning to use After Effects, then 32 gigabytes is in my opinion of course the balance but you can stretch out and go to 64 gigs now at this moment one of the things that prevented me to go from 32 to 64 gigs was not only uh, myself not needing more than 32 but also the prices that ram costs these days it's expensive i did purchase mine on the uh, black friday with a great price but nonetheless that great price is <laughs> not cheap so 64 gigabytes of ram at this moment will cost us roughly 800 euros so 32 half of that roughly 400 euros at this moment of course of the recording hopefully prices will get lower so that uh, people that want to put computers together can get more RAM for less money. And that is it guys, in terms of feedback, I'm happy with it. Uh, the RAM is stable, the model is G-Skill Trident Z 3000 megahertz. By the way, any RAM DDR4 in this particular case will run at 2133 megahertz, but then uh, using the XMP and overclocking to the uh, clockable speed, which in this particular case is 3000 megahertz, we can get some really nice performance. And so far, I have no issues and I'm really happy with it, uh, including the Aura Sync feature, which gives a really good looking um, RGB effects on my case. And I'm going to shut up. Guys, hope that this video was helpful for those of you that are on the fence which RAM sticks they should purchase. These are as good as many others in the market. I did choose this one because I did enjoy the RGB and the price point was great, even though high, but on the Black Friday. So 
everything came together and I chose these. I'm happy with them and that is it. My name is Roberto George and as always guys, I'll see you on the next one.